Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm CK. So here, this video, we're going to look at specifically how I replace the grommets and hopefully this will help anyone who's looking to replace the grommets on the racket. This came from the video of how I repaired the racket with super glue. I'll link them up here. Please also subscribe to the channel. Uh, more badminton content always coming soon. So here we go. To get started, you'll need three tools. You need a thin nose plier, a side cutter, as well as your replacement grommets. A bit of background about grommets on badminton rackets. Essentially, there are only four types of grommets on a typical badminton racket. So here you have a single string grommet, which tends to be the very, very tiny ones, which only allow a single piece of string through. And then you have your shared holes, which is the shared grommet, which tends to have two strings goes through, a main and a cross string. You also tend to have your knots on the shared string grommet. So both your starting and finishing knot will be on the shared string grommet. And then ultimately, you then have your two sets of different grommets on the T joint. They tend to be different in length, and they also have a ridge in between them. They are actually different. So the one that is closer to the shaft will be one type, and then the next one down will be the second type. If you're wondering how do I decide to replace a grommet, it is when I find a split in the grommet, as you see here. A split in the grommet might allow the string to come in direct contact with the frame, which could then reduce the lifespan of the string, or even at high tensions, it could also damage the frame permanently. So to remove a grommet, you use a thin nose plier and you try and push the grommet out from the inside of the frame so it would be slightly easier to catch them on the outside. So once you've pushed them from the inside out and they should pop up and it's really easy that you use your thin nose plier just to grab them and you'll just pull them out. Here I'm showing you from another angle of what I'm doing by pushing it from the inside of the frame towards the outside and that will allow you to pull it off very easily. It is again exactly the same for the shared hole grommets. So take your time, they will all come out. If you're wondering how wide the diameters are for these grommets, so on the single string hole, you are looking at around 1.9 millimeters both inside and outside. So if you're wanting to purchase grommets to replace them yourselves, you can. I'll link them in the description below. And here I'm measuring across multiple brands of rackets just to make sure they're all consistent. For the shared hole grommets, we are currently looking at around somewhere between 2.45 to about 2.55. So we're gonna call it 2.5 millimeters. Uh, you can again buy individual grommets for them. Um, I will again link them down in the description below of where you can get them. They typically are about 2.6 millimeters. So they will fit quite nicely when they are pushed in. Most of you have probably seen the grommet box that I actually use to replace my grommets. In here, you can actually see there are 10 compartments with each compartment having their own little type of grommet. However, once everything has been sorted through, they actually only fall into the four types of grommets that are actually present on the racket. So for example, if you're replacing a single string grommet, essentially just pick one with the right length and then put them through the grommet hole on the frame. Use the soft end of your thin nose plier or your side cutters just to push it all the way into the frame. So it should sit quite tightly. Um, it shouldn't be very, very loose. It shouldn't come out. And once that is done, that is absolutely perfect. If you then decide to use a longer length grommet for replacement, it's absolutely fine. Repeat the same process and then make sure that they're seated properly by pushing them against the outside of the frame. Once they're seated properly, just get your side cutter and then cut them to make sure that they are the same length as the other grommets. So as I mentioned previously, barring the two grommets, two sets of grommets on each side of the shaft, the B1 to B4 grommets, you can actually get away with only two sizes, which is the 2.1 millimeter diameter grommet, which is the single string grommet. And then you can also get away with the 2.6 millimeter grommet, which is then for the, all the shared holes. So by just having these two at longer lengths, you will then be able to cut them after you've actually inserted it into your racket. So you can actually just buy them too. 
I will put the links where you can get them in the description below. Um, alternatively, if you prefer full sets of grommets, depending on the make and model of your racket, I will also put these down in the description below so you can actually get them. So hopefully you like this video. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. Um, I will always do my best to reply. Um, and please subscribe and like the video. Thank you. See you in the next one.